so there are several methods, uh, several uh, standard the workers standardize this uh, grafting. Uh, this is sorry, high density are charting in case of the different fruit crops. Uh, I'll give you banana and guava and mango and all this pineapple. These are the standardized by the several workers here in case of banana, papaya, mango, guava and lychee. By that we can accommodate uh, such number of plants and get a good number. If you compare with this uh, with your uh, normal spacing as well as the, uh, your high density planting, you can see this uh, average productivity and get the yield per tons, tons per hectare in case of the banana as well as in case of papaya as well as in case of mango and guava. It will be much higher, two to three times higher than the uh, national average productivity of this one. In case of banana, there are several workers has been uh, has been, several works have been done at several places. They have standardized uh, different uh, uh, this one uh, planting distance, and this much uh, they have uh, reported. In case of uh, mango, there is a uh, very good work has been done by several workers at different places by accommodating this uh, the sahari as well as the samrapali, and uh, they got a very good yield. In case of pineapple also, there has been several work has been done at pineapple also by spacing at 25, 60, 105, accommodating 50,500 plants. They have standardized the several doses, several uh, uh, spacing in case of high density RCRD and this much the yield they have reported without any uh, uh, comparison with the quality of the fruits and in this one. This for the guava, guava in case of guava, very good work has been done by this uh, CSS Lucknow in case of this uh, ultra high density archery and uh, they have reported to go for this two by one meter but now the some farmers are getting the problem facing some problem in case of the two by one meter but earlier they have reported that if you go by two by one meter you can accommodate and you can get the aid like this in first year this much second year this much and after fifth year you can get the 60 tons per hectare but after that 10 years, the farmers are getting the problem. What I have observed, uh, recently I was in the Madhya Pradesh uh, in some of the KVKs and the farmers were telling, he said, the, uh, this guava is going to be grow very uh, fast way and we are not able to manage with the pruning, always pruning that requires a huge amount of the labor. They are reporting like that. Now the uh, CSS people are reporting that you can go by uh, go through the removing of one line or one plants in each row. In one row, you can remove one row itself. So by that way, you have to go to manage. Uh, in even our institute, uh, uh, Dr. Goswami is working on that Papa Guava, and he is reporting that we can go by three by three meter, three uh, row to row, three plant to plant. We can uh, grow this uh, uh, guava very well. This is a simple uh, slide I have taken from the CIS Lucknow on this one uh, high density RCRD. Uh, they have uh, put it that one. Uh, this is the first year, second year. Even in, when you uh, get the fruit in first year also by uh, pruning in case of uh, twice pruning, one in case of your uh, April and one in case of the October pruning. They have reported by that way you can get a good crop. Uh, this is the regeneration work. Now, canopy management is one of the most uh, uh, effective uh, method, you can say, effective uh, technique in case of the growing of the fruits are for getting this high under the high density archery. We have to maintain this one. Canopy management, you know, uh, I'm not going to read this. Why you go? Basically, we are basically we are accommodating if you are putting more a number of plants per unit of area, then we have to train the plants either in the initial years. Then we have go for the pruning in the later on stage so that we can uh, keep the plants at a smaller uh, canopy and we have opened the plants for the, to get the more light. As we know already, the light is the one of the most important source for the photosynthesis preparation in case of the fruit crops. So there is a only a way to go uh, get the good light by uh, canopy. Uh, these are the way by which you can go for the canopy by using the dropping root star, dwarf cyan, growth regulator, training, pruning and all these things. These are some photographs which I have taken from the CITH Lucknow, sorry, uh, CIT, this one, uh, CITH uh, Srinagar uh, from Dr. Burma, now it is Dr. Burma is there. So these are the, uh, the spandle bush training, these are the plants and the spalier training. These are on the spalier training, particularly this work has been standardized in case of your 
uh, apple. You can see on the carton. This is the carton system, carton training system. These are some good fruiting you can see on this by uh, canopy management under the high density orcharding in case of the apple at CITH Lucknow. Sorry, CITH, sorry, I'm uh, uh, repeating again and again. CITH, Central Institute of Temperate Horticulture, Srinagar. Uh, by increasing the next way is by increasing the water use efficiency, we can improve the productivity by uh, increasing the water use efficiency. Uh, as we know, uh, there are two ways we can increase the efficiency that is nutrient and water management. Uh, by that way, we can, if we are in, manage these two things, nutrient as well as water, other things which are not in our hand like climate and all these things, if we manage the very well, we can maintain the soil health as well as the environment and improve the profitability also. Uh, if you see the uh, uh, efficiency, comparative efficiency of the water use in different methods, the maximum water use efficiency in case of the drip irrigation almost 80 to 90 percent. Uh, if you see the water distribution of the plant in different uh, system of the irrigation, you can see in the last slide, this is drip irrigation. We are, since we are only uh, giving the consumptive use of water, that we are only um, uh, that concentrating the water up to the root zone only. That's why there is no loss of the water. As we know, in case of uh, drip irrigation, there is less uh, infestation of the weeds as well. So uh, we are only providing the water to the plant, only the, that is a, up to the water, this one, uh, consumptive use of water. That's all. These are the advantages of, uh, say, water, increase yield, quality, reduce labor, and disease and pest management. How much water we are saving by these technologies? That is the uh, yield, weed control, fertilizer saving. Fertilizer saving we can done through the fertigation technique. Uh, I will come later on. And we can, uh, how much the period within uh, two years we can go pay back that one, the, how much amount we have invested in that one. These are some work which are reported by uh, INCID in different crude crops, how much yield increase, how much water saving, and how the water efficiency can be increased by using this drip irrigation method in banana, chili, grapes, sweet lime, pomegranate, tomato, and watermelons. How much yield is increased with the use of drip irrigation system by in different uh, fruit crops, banana, grapes, sweet lime, pom, papaya, in uh, vegetables also. This is a simple, uh, uh, by with the use of drip irrigation. These are some photographs. Uh, this is the photograph of this uh, um, ultra high density, meadow arch heading up uh, Lucknow. Uh, this is the, you can see this just like a wall, you can find it. But now they are facing the problem in case of the, uh, when the, it gets at farmer's field. It's uh, easy to maintain at our field, but uh, at farmer's field they are facing the problem by this one. This is a meadow arch, this is a photograph of uh, CIS Lucknow, plastic merge. In case you train efficiency, we know already by with the use of fertigation, we can grow for this, uh, save the fertilizers by using this method. Uh, the work I have taken from your TNAU only, the uh, work of the, in papaya uh, at TNAU taken uh, at the here, application of 13.5 gram urea and 18.8 gram urea per task per week through fertigation and soil application of super phosphate to 78 gram per week has been found to be improved the yield and quality of 9-1 D papaya, that is your CO8. Yeah. This is the application in the ring, particularly this is not recommended in all food crops, particularly in case of citrus and guava. We have not recommending this uh, ring method because of the your phytophthora. Uh, because we are no need to disturb the roots once you really, because we are observing in our IRI. Uh, the field which are ploughed with these uh, uh, different, uh, different operations, uh, they are causing more for the uh, phytophthora in case of sectors. Uh, here I have taken, this is from actually I worked in Bihar also for several years, eight years. This is a photograph I have taken from Mujafatpur district, one of the farmers field. What they do actually, uh, in case of lychee, uh, there is a dropping of the leaves. Before flowering, there is a dropping of the lychee, there is a flowering again in case of February, February and March in that area. This area is full of your lychee. So what the farmers do, this is farmer practice, I have taken from farmers. What they do actually, they uh, put all the leaves just in the beneath of the plant, just a canopy of the plant, and put some uh, ring and 
they apply the uh, manure sulfate fertilizer in the ring that one you can see here this is the first take a disease management we know already uh, this is one of the most uh, important aspect particularly in case of the disease and pest management we are facing from the raising of seedling either in the field or in the poly poly uh, thin seeds or such polythene bags or any containerized nursery to up to the harvesting or post harvest disease also so there is a need to grow uh, go for the integrated disease management or pest management by incorporating all methods whether it is cultural mechanical or maybe the chemical as well as the biological these all has been written here uh, some of the good biological methods in case of uh, uh, um, this one uh, uh, method has been applied in case of the control of the different diseases particularly in case of the papaya this one uh, uh, this one papaya milibug um, they have used a very good uh, of your uh, predators used to control this one Uh, then after that, even with the use of eugenol, methyl eugenol in case of uh, um, traps, uh, this one uh, used in case of uh, guava as well as in case of the mango, we are using in our field also. Uh, with the, that, we can uh, fruit fly. We can manage the fruit fly in the case of our but guava and uh, mango field. Then mechanization. So one of the most important aspects in case of the mechanization in horticulture crops, particularly in fruit crops, since uh, uh, we are lacking in case of the fruit crops, so there are not too much is, uh, instrument has come. I'm uh, sorry, equipment or uh, uh, so mechanical has been come. Now we are approaching for the mechanized farming by uh, going through the development of the different uh, equipments, different tractor operated uh, uh, equipments. Uh, is in the small in nature and we are working on that even for the harvesting purpose also they are using for this one uh, these are some of the some of the uh, photographs i have taken these are the small uh, this one tractors now they are coming in the market they are used for the different purpose particularly in case of uh, one is uras i do not know what to call it in our places that is uras is from your mahindra they are using for this uh, particular this grow within the two rows there is small uh, tractor these are running for the uh, either is rotavator or with the this one uh, cultivator they are using in case of our mango and guava these are some small uh, equipments which have been uh, nowadays after taking this one precision farming you know it was started in tnau only at that time when i was here in 2005 at that time dr badi well sir was there and he was working after that so these are the Uh, this is uh, your leveler as we know with, uh, with the use of precision in case of uh, laser leveler we can reduce the irrigation uh, loss by the irrigation through this one but uh, these are some equipments used for this uh, making the holes particularly this uh, we can we are using this labor for preparation of the peats for the transplanting purpose uh, in case of food crop but some of the agar has been come with the tractor operated by that you can use this one you can see here motorized agar has come nowadays uh, some bund maker has been come nowadays a reaser has been come by that we can go for this uh, mechanized farming in case of the fruits as well as vegetables these are the bund maker is prepared uh, for uh, this one is uh, by uh, from iri only they have make a tractor operated bund operator for come packer by making the mud bunds in the different uh, 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 fruits as well as vegetables also so this is all about uh, today's uh, my talk regarding the uh, how to improve the productivity by management of the yield or management of the crops in particularly fruit crops by that way we can improve the productivity as well as the profitability of the fruit crop of the farmers uh, since uh, we are approaching for the doubling of the farmers income which is uh, one of the motto of our honorable prime minister also So by that way, we can increase the productivity as well as productivity of the farmers. Thank you. Thanks for your patience listening, and I am thankful to the PNA authority, particularly the head of the division of food crops, Dr. Muthuvel sir, for giving this opportunity to be here and uh, come across with you and talk with you all people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. thank you very much for your very nice uh, presentation and uh, overview of uh, modern fruit techniques um, i have a few questions sir uh, 
what is the future of uh, uh, productive cultivation of fruit crops yes sir sorry i could not uh, take up this one actually i had a papaya in uh, topic but i could not yes sir we have a future in case of uh, we are working also sir in case of papaya uh, there dr jay prakash is there and he is working i think uh, we have seen there madam uh, you are in the pali houses and net houses also both uh, sir uh, particularly for case in the case of uh, um, uh, this one uh, protecting from the uh, frost in case of papaya we have seen a very good result in pali houses as well as in case of sir net houses also and we have got a very good result uh, for this uh, infection of the papaya ring spot virus sir mm. and there was early uh, if i can show you i had one in papaya photograph mm. there is a uh, early flowering early flowering sir but only the thing is that sir the plant height is going to increase yes we are what we have job sir Mm. we so planted this uh, pusa nanna mm. as we uh, consider pusa nanna as a dwarf variety Tough. but it become tall in that one uh, but by that way sir with the fruiting area in case of papaya is increased mm. area is increased so we are getting more number of fruits and better is that that is the earliness uh, early fruiting early flowering is there and uh, good quality of fruit sir and uh, uh, this one uh, almost free from this uh, ring spot virus sir. almost sir because uh, we are only working with papayas papaya papayas but other crops of ma'am number nowadays i heard uh, uh, some news from uh, japan. even japan china japan, yes. they japan. they are growing mango, mango yeah. guava yes, under protected cultivation uh, sir they are growing in japan we also came to the news sir if they are growing this uh, uh, this uh, one some variety they know it in case of mango red color yes sir um, yes again yeah yeah good and they are growing in that uh, condition and with your uh, use of this uh, fruit bagging bagging fruit bagging yeah they are doing some mango sir they are doing very well uh, particularly i think so ki since uh, um, japan is a um, cold country but they are growing in that way for banana that may be uh, to protect from this uh, frost and uh, killing in green like that sir he there also sir in case of uh, if uh, we have compared that is jayprakash is working sir mm. and we have compared the open field papaya and uh, there is one paper also he uh, published one paper also uh, under open condition as well in the net house conditions uh, okay. we are getting sir uh, uh, almost this one almost free sir particularly mm. from the frost during from december sir last week of december to the second week of january there is too much cold sir mm. almost uh, less than 10 uh, almost nearer to 10 degrees celsius and then we are getting sir uh, almost free from uh, this one sir uh, frost okay, sir. good quality of uh, uh, papaya sir where in case of the open field conditions sir we are facing uh, problem after february onward the almost the leaves start burning there is after just after january the, there is a burning of leaves and mm-hmm. the fruits uh, all the fruit uh, leaves drop down the fruit size is very uh, almost uh, drying start drying and the uh, barren it is the plant is almost bare but those that grown in the cervicans i can say ki they have a very good opportunity for the in case of the frost affected area or the low light, low light, uh, low temperature area and for free from your uh, sir ring spot okay sir mites mites yeah let me let i yes Yeah, yeah, sir. We we couldn't uh, uh, 
we can cultivate so we can maintain for it mm. up to 24 months to years 24 months as you said and you can enjoy and also be able to get higher fruit quality yeah. so continuous for two months it starts to be higher um, yeah. to harvest the other thing is uh, harvesting is becoming a regular problem mm. so when the tree grows taller and taller yeah. so harvesting is becoming a problem yeah. and uh, it, it will sometimes there is a problem of the net that touch to the uh, yeah, yeah, also yeah, yeah. yeah. in, in, in our case also man uh, we saw okay. that touch to the top yes. so more than that uh, more than that even in our uh, ganda society we have seen that touch that one that's due to the internodal length of the yeah. more yeah and yeah. the fruiting column is more yes fruiting column is more yeah. 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 Okay, more food and more heat yeah, is okay, yeah. but harvesting is a problem. Mm. And papaya millipede uh, is a problem. And mites also. Mites was the more problem. So in our case, man, what we observed, mite is a major problem in our area. Millipede, uh, if you wrap, uh, if you if there, if there is anything brought from uh, outside, then otherwise there is not much infection of that millipede. What I observed, I have, I am also assuming that is there because we are working there. But uh, there is a more problem of uh, mites. What we have here, mite is more serious than your millibug. Millibug, we found a one or two plants. One or two. When we just observed, we start uh, spraying this one your marsal. Marsal generally we are spraying there. But the observation, the people left is longer. So the normal spacing we cannot get complete. Yeah. So automatically the number of plants will be reduced. Reduced. Yeah. 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 So the, the generally, generally we the go for one point uh, almost six feet. We can say six feet or uh, one so point in one point. Eight. One point. Yeah, one point five and one point. So I recommend six feet. Yeah. So when we go for metros, it is by seven feet. Seven feet. Yeah. So one feet we have to increase from eight to ten. Okay, please. Uh, due to the length, that due to the length, man. Due to the height only. That's going to be the. Uh, actually, due to the height, I, what I thought is due to the high temperature. In case that case, due to the high temperature, there will be the more increase in the uh, growth of the plants, and we have observed this also. Can you throw some light on the tree? Yes, please. Now, so here we do the thirteen dash plants. But uh, yes, ma'am, we also have thirteen dash one only, ma'am. Yeah, uh, that is yes. We at our place we have thirteen dozen, thirteen dozen. Some literature only, literature. Okay. Literature only thirteen dozen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay.
He also gave hundred or something like that. Yes. Like that. Yes. Even that during COVID period, we have uh, sent the people and uh, we have collected uh, through the train. Okay. Uh, the seeds. Uh, somehow I don't know whether it is right now available or not. Uh, but uh, yeah, some, uh, plants, uh, only three or four plants they are made to me. But we have to go still long, long, long way. You know because farmer cannot wait. No. Unless other ways. The problem is that there was a stone only. The problem is this stone. Yes, Getting up the stone, sir. Yes, sir. Unless we have the own plant or at own places. Yes, yes. Then we have to start yes, from the, either you go for Israel or you go for the sir, Maharashtra. In our place, our cases, Maharashtra is that uh, I mean nearer to go there. Then uh, we have to request that we go there only. Yes, yes. He's the only source. Nowadays he is working or not? Earlier he was there only. But, but what uh, they, what we have suggested on the we we do in the deliberation, collecting the some of the cyan sticks and grafting it with uh, uh, with the other regular uh, root stock. Now we normally use only two root stock. Only Salvanso is the one only source available as a root stock. Then uh, to certain extent we are using Bangalore. Mm. Uh, that, that is uh, showing vigorousness and uh, the uh, Alfonso to certain extent it is uh, showing some dwarfing effect. Only the two roots are right now available, but both are uh, it's not it's, uh, highly sensitive to sun. Sir, why are you using such seeds? Yeah, yeah, this so is the problem. Yeah. So, that so that is not a good option, sir, no, because yes, yes. You know, this is confirmed source. This is uh, 13 dash one is a confirmed, and already the, uh, everything is over. Trials were over. Compatibility studies were over. Only thing is performance evaluation and the large scale plantation. We have to make it. Uh, so that is uh, the only option available. So but still, but in our case, sir, still we are working, sir. Not we are not recommended anything. But still, Dr. Jayaprakash is working at our place, sir, regarding this one. Thirteen days now. He is the only scientist who brought this one from Dr. Bhimjaki, and now he is working, sir. Anyway, for you under North Indian, yeah, still. North Indian conditions, uh, there won't be say, the salt. Uh, the conditions are very rare now because. Uh, you have uh, the yes, in our IRI, ma'am has gone there. So almost our field is uh, the pH is more than 8.4, 8.6 like that. Okay. Well, how about irrigation? Quality of irrigation water? Also the poor, sir. Also that is the no, because uh, no, you, uh, Delhi IRI uh, it has become city, no? Uh, no, no, sir. Not only Delhi, sir. The yeah. NCR, whole NCR, sir. Ah. If you go to Noida, Gurgaon, or Panitar, or like that, mm -hmm. these all areas are sir, highly irrigated. PH is very much high, sir. More than more than 8.4, 8.6. Okay. Somewhere it is 9, sir. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. So it's, that's why, sir, this mango is not doing well under the Delhi condition or nearby Delhi condition, sir. These are the major limitation in case of sir NCR region. We are not recommending mango, sir. It's only recommended in those areas like Saharanpur or this uh, merit condition or Varanasi, Lucknow. Those are where the mango is grown. If you talk about sir nearby Delhi. Mango is not, we are not recommending mango, sir. Okay. Due to only two salts, sir. Because farmers are purchasing our Amrapali, because they are very much fond for the Amrapali because of the dark nature. And what they used to come, sir, also soup there, that dried. We, when we say, ki, we, you, first you go for your uh, soil and water analysis test. When they bring this sir, report, na, we see more than 8.4. Somehow, somehow, as you said, no, we have to multiply 13 as 1. Sir, yes, I agree. That is the first uh, thing we have to do. So that now availability you can ensure and agree, the more now, quantity of seeds you can collect. Agree, and, uh, but for, for that purpose, sir, we have to go for the systematic archiding. Yes, yes. If we have a good archer, uh, we have to spare some land, sir. We are not sparing land for this, we are sparing land for the, in our case, Amrapali, Mallika, the Shahari, in your case, also multiple varieties, good varieties. But we are not sparing sometimes space for the Ullur. We have some Ullur, sir, we have Kurkan also. But that is limited also. Only for the experimental purpose, we are conducting the trials on the Ullur and Kurkan. If you talk about the farmers, we are still providing the farmers on the, this uh, route to uh, seedling route. Okay. That's all. So incidentally, incidentally, the department and we, uh, when I was a dean, you know, we have identified one mango, the, uh, it is bearing three seasons in a year. Three seasons in a year. Uh, that can be, uh, we have evaluated, one of the students has, uh, uh, the, my student only has done complete uh, profiling of uh, what, uh, the, it's all seedling projects only. Since it is bearing three seasons, farmers started taking the seeds and started planting it. Mm. Now almost about 500 trees are available. 500 trees, 
almost it is bearing flowering is there fruiting is there flowering is there fruiting is there three seasons it is continuously bearing there is no problem of fruit setting and uh, yep not nothing no, no problem uh, 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 simultaneously it is happening new shoots are coming in the current yes, current season shoots possible, sir yeah. it's possible but uh, uh, my concern is only the fruit setting and ripening no it, see it, there is a high yeah, temperature so then yeah. also what uh, the farmers uh, started doing it Uh, the taste is not uh, so good. Like it uh, cannot be used mm-hmm. because it is coming coinciding with the rainy season and other this other things are there. Uh, it is going as a vegetable. Okay. Uh, it's not for fruit. It is going as a vegetable season, mm-hmm. and the farmer is getting uh, almost seventy to eighty rupees a kg. So that will be sir. They help. They will get the good price for the pickling purpose also. That may be sir. But uh, as regards the ripening, sir, uh, that will be uh, the temperature be required. That for the fruit setting, in case of high this high temperature, sir, there will be a little bit of the fruit uh, setting, fruit setting, sir. The setting and all we have seen, no, three years continuously we were watching. Mm-hmm. Three seasons, uh, every year three season continuously it is flowing. It's okay, sir. Otherwise, in our cases, uh, sometimes what happens when the temperature goes high during winter season, the the flowering occur early, very early. Even in November also. But here, yes. Sir. But yes. as the temperature goes down, almost there is a browning of the panicles, and uh, almost there is no fruit setting. So, so it's no, not. But here, unlike in uh, the North India, here yes, also, sir, have yeah, we good. have uh, almost about yeah, uh, the static. Market 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 Only the North India is facing with the low temperature, majorly. So that is also there. That can be also promoted, my sir, no, because uh, throughout the year available, no availability. Yes, sir. 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 No, because nobody is there to graft it and to give it in a systematic way. That that will take some time, no? In case of the flowering and fruiting, that will. No, it time. it is fourth year it is coming. Fourth year coming. It is also uh, the okay. bearing pre-bearing age is also very less. Then it's okay, sir. Then they can because whatever we are doing, sir, that is for the farmers. Yes, yes. If the farmers are adapting our technology, our variety, so we can recommend no problem. Yeah. The so only concern is what we are saying, right? Yeah. That is for pickling purpose or for raw purpose or the stone purpose. Yes, yes. Then that can be recommended for the uh, the stone purpose or pickling purpose. There are so many varieties for the pickling purpose or yes, yes. in sucking purpose like that, like that. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for your uh, elaborative and informative lecture on uh, uh, fruit production techniques uh, in India uh, 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 to our students and also staff members. Next, we are moving to public defense examination for, for Manjula Raksi. They are PhD students of the Fruits Department of Fruit Science, assistant at TNA Kaimthur. On behalf of uh, TNA Kaimthur and Department of Fruit Science, uh, we welcome uh, committee members, uh, external examiner and uh, committee members for uh, public defense examination. Uh, first, once again, we welcome uh, Dr. Kangiya Singh from IASRA. I R A New Delhi, and also Chairman of the Advisory Committee, Dr. Pugalendra Desai from Department of Economic Science. and also our uh, head of the department from department of fruit science and also uh, a proctor uh, from uh, uh, department of cotton dr rajeshwari madam and also welcome uh, uh, committee members dr ganesh muthi sir dr arul sir Rajesh. and uh, dr c kavita madam uh, for public def- defense examination evaluations thank you sir thank you